Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And a internet friend of mine uh, was using my example, and I thought, you know, I'm not going to make another video. And then I started looking at his lines. His lines are a little bit uh, not as symmetrical or smooth as mine were. And then I started thinking about if you follow this along, this is like part six of this, you can do this really smoothly with the zipper tool inside of the distort tool underneath your drop shadow. So if you take a two point line and draw you a line and then open up your zipper tool, which I mean the distort tool, and then you go right here to the zipper distortion and go right here to the stamp, you get that. Now you can add angles, you can add points, you can add, like I said, you could add angles. And the other night in the video, I took and moved half of these up. But if you will take it and go up to object and convert it to a curve, and then select them all with your shape tool, and right click and convert them to a curve, and then go right here to smooth nodes, and look at that. You can't get any smoother than that. And then you can make your point size whatever point you wanted to get that line and do just like we did last night, or I did last night, hit the plus key on your keyboard and just minutely move it down to it's kind of even and then just control D again to your heart's content. And you have a really good wavy effect. So that's under the drop shadow fly out. It's actually distort but then you pick this right here with the zipper, go to the presets, which is the stamp. I guess it's beating because it, if you had a box, it would, uh, you could do the zipper part, but I think the stamp actually, well, you can see it worked really well. And then to do what we did last night, you would just group these together, control G, get your, I'm not gonna put in a text, but get you an object and put it in there and select them both and intersect. And then when you have that, I hope you, that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.